Dear Diary, I smile for you. Even though I didn't feel beautiful or important or respected, I actually felt walked over and mistreated. I made excuses for his action and just chucked it all up to that's just the kind of relationship that we have. Dear Diary, I smiled today. When I told everyone I was okay, when I told my best friend that we were happy, I was happy. When I was really clawing to get away from us, screaming for help, for someone to tell me the hard, honest truth that you would never stop, that you would never be monogamous, and I would always be your backup plan. Dear Diary, I smiled today. Even though I have been crying on the inside for years, I've cried in the bathroom, at my locker, even at practice, and I do not cry, but I did today. And when people ask me what's wrong, I lie, say nothing, and put on that smile that says everything is okay. So you guys, no, this is not about my current relationship or current situation that I'm in. I wrote this poem to symbolize a relationship that I used to have. I guess you would say it's like my first real relationship. <laughs> that feels crazy saying that, especially seeing how this point went. This is my first real relationship. Um, we were together for almost three years. That's pretty much like my whole high school experience. We met our freshman year in high school. We were together up until I think the beginning of our junior year. Like we literally, school started at the beginning of August. By August like 26, like the end of August, we were boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, I wrote this about this relationship because this was just a really emotional, like emotionally draining relationship. And it, it, it probably wasn't the, the healthiest relationship either. But emotionally wise, it was very, very draining. Like by the end of the relationship, I just didn't even care anymore. Like I felt relieved that it was over. Um, we were always on and off. Like when we got together after the first week, we broke up. And then two days later, we got back together. And it was on and off like that for a long time of break up, get back together, break up, get back together. We'll break up the longest we ever stayed broke up, broken up was a week, and then we got back together. Or we'll break up for two days and get back together. It, it was just, it was just so much. And every time we broke up, it was because of the same reason. Because he wanted to be with other girls. And I was dumb enough to just sit around and wait for him to come back. And I didn't used to be like that before him, but I was act I'm actually grateful that I went through that because I learned a lot of valuable lessons like going through that relationship. So imagine three years on and off, on and off because of, oh, I think I want to be with her, but I'm not sure. Um, I just want to try things out. Like that was literally is what he would say to me. I just want to try things out. And, you know, any girl in their right mind would have been like, okay, bye. And like never turn back. It wasn't like that for me and I don't know why after the first time we broke up it should have been over then because of this week long relationship we had and now we're broken up all quickly just like that over another girl <laughs> already after one week. I should have ended it there but I didn't and it went on for almost three years. That is a lot. You know, that is a lot to keep going through the same thing over and over for three years while you're in high school and you are such a young teenager. Your emotions are everywhere as it is already. And then you have to deal with that on top of that. So um, going through that, going through, then I started to feel like I started to have self-esteem issues with myself. Like I didn't used to feel like, oh, I'm, I'm pretty enough. I'm not skinny enough. And it's like, I was like, well, what do she, does she have that I don't have that makes you feel like you need to be with her? You just see how it's going to be with her over me. And it was just to, to the point that we would break up and his excuse is he want to be with somebody else or whatever. And then uh, I would start talking. He would see me talking to another boy uh, and automatically, oh, now I want to get back with you because I don't want you to talk to anybody else. So he was kind of like, um, I, I want my cake and I want to, you know, <laughs> he want the cake and he want to eat it too, you know. Um, it's like he could be with whoever he wanted to be with. But if we broke up and I was talking to somebody else, now you just, you love me so much and you want to be back with me now because you see me talking to someone else. I had to put a stop to it. It's like the last time was literally the last time and we had broke up and it was just, it was, I cried. Like, and I don't usually cry, guys. Like, you gotta understand how big this was for me. Because I I don't cry and I definitely do not cry in public. The most I cry is maybe like once a year and it feels refreshing to get it out. 
But I was never a crier. I never, I'm still not, but I never, for sure never cried in public before. And it's like just the last time that we broke up, well, the last two times that we broke up, it was just so... It was just so much. We had broken up so many times before that. And I and I never felt, you know, like crying after the breakup. But it's just the second to last time, I think I felt more disrespected. And that's why I ended up crying. Because he was parading, the, he was cheating on me. And parading around a girl he was cheating on me with, like, in my face. Like, they were friends. And I'm like, okay. Like, they were, like, we'll be literally sitting lunch together. And she comes over and they're talking and laughing and all this. Because um, they had a class together. And I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, I'm like, you know I'm his girlfriend. and But yet, this is what y'all doing behind my back. And I think that's what really hurt me more. Because I'm like, y'all in my face, like y'all friends. And then behind my back, you, you, you doing all of this. And I'm just like, that's some messed up stuff. So, like, he literally broke up with me, like, in public. Not as in, like, a show. But just that it was like, I, we had lunch together. And it was like, where we were, it's like, it's very crowded. Had a lot of people. Or whatever, we was sitting on the bench and he just had he decided to tell me that um he wanted to break up with me. And it really like hurt my feelings. And it didn't really hurt my feelings to tell I thought, okay, well, that's fine. He rent sit at the other end of the bench that we were sitting at and was talking to my best friend, boyfriend, but I can hear him. Yeah, I just broke up with him. And it it re that would really hurt my feelings. At that point I literally went inside and went in the bathroom and cried. Because like I was trying to get a hold of myself because I don't, I hate when people see other people cry and then everyone wants to crowd them. Like, oh, what's wrong? What's wrong? I hate that. So I did not want that to happen because I don't talk to a lot of people throughout my high school experience. I can count the number of friends that I have and still have on one hand. Um, so I didn't have those many friends to begin with. So, yeah. But at the same time, like, he would break up with me, but he is still expected to, for me to treat him like he was my boyfriend. Like, you know, like, he still wanted me to treat him with all the royalties that a boyfriend gets. Like, you know, he wants me to talk on the phone with him all day long. And and it's like, you want me to still hang out around you. And then I stopped doing all that because we're not together. And like this, like, you really hurt my feelings. I don't want to deal with you. And then it's all, oh, well, you acting different. Why are you acting like this? We're not together anymore. Why do you want me to still act like I'm your girlfriend, but you broke up with me? So, no. And then we got back together. Oh, my God. Like, I used to play basketball. Like, I went to basketball practice, and, like, I was trying to hold it in, like, until I got home and could be, like, alone. I cried, like, while I was putting my stuff in my locker for basketball practice. I just, I couldn't do it. But I uh, had to get over it or whatever. Had to shake it off because I didn't want nobody to see me crying because I'm that person. Like, I don't want you to see me crying. I feel weak or something. But um, we ended up getting back together. I don't know how. Don't ask me how. Some reason, whatever. And the last time we broke up, we broke up, like... Uh, like maybe like a week before I was supposed to take the ACT for the first time. No, that that week of the ACT, like maybe a few days before I was supposed to take the ACT for the first time. And it's like this time, I cried, but it wasn't sad tears. It was like it was like a relief. Like I felt like a weight was lifted off of my shoulder. Like I'm like I'm done with this now for real. I feel just so relieved. I feel just so, I feel just so much better now that this is that this roller coaster ride is over you know um and this time like we broke up and he was just so mean he said just so many mean things to me when he's the one who broke up with me he just said so many mean things to me and i'm not one to take stuff but I was, to me i'm like the best way to piss somebody off is not to even respond so it's like he's saying all this mean stuff to me i'm just like okay all right yeah whatever you know and it's gonna piss you off more cut off all communication like i'm not talking to you and just like out of nowhere and like I really did cry guys but I felt so much better it's like something felt different about this time like yeah I know this is the last time we was gonna be together and I just felt so I just felt like you know how when you just feel like something is like weighing you down and you solve the issue and just like you feel lighter like you feel like, like do you see what I'm saying like I just I felt so much better after that was over and then he tried to get back together with me and I was like, no, I told you the last time we got together was going to be the last time. I'm not doing this back and forth, up and down, round and round thing with you anymore. And then he was like, oh yeah, we can still be friends. I'm like, well, I guess he say so. And then all of a sudden he starts acting like I did him something. Like he would ignore me in the hallway. Like he would like turn his back when he see me coming. Like, okay, whatever. It's like, you the one who suggested we should be friends. I didn't do you anything. You did it to me. I was the most faithful girlfriend, the best girlfriend you could ask for. 
like but whatever <laughs> like he really act like i did him something like i was like whatever i'm done and then by the time senior year come around like around the end of senior year then he wants to speak oh hey how you doing oh now you want to talk <laughs> to me it's been like a year like okay but hey i know how to be civil i know how to be nice but this is not anything but um yeah that's that's pretty much all of the emotion and the gas that filled this this poem that I wrote like I was just thinking about that and I just feel like I learned so many lessons from that relationship I learned how boys get taken for granted because I had never went through something like that before and I thought you know me I grew up in a house full of boys so I'm a real tomboy so I'm like oh that can never happen to me you know I see this from a mile away I grew up in a house with boys older than me I've seen this tr these tricks I know better and I still fell for it anyway even though I knew a long time ago I should just let it go and I learned, I learned just so much from this relationship. I learned not to let God take you for granted. Don't let him use you. When this happens, I mean, I understand giving one chance, like giving you a second chance, but that's it. Don't keep doing it over and over because I don't want you to think that, oh yeah, I'm just keep taking you back. I learned a lot from this relationship. And I think it made me a stronger person. And I think that's something I needed to go to, go through to get to my relationship that I'm in now. I'm about to get married. Like, I think if I wouldn't have went through that, I wouldn't appreciate the relationship I have now as much as I do now. If I wouldn't have went through that. So, in a way, I'm thankful that I, that I met him. And I'm thankful that we got together and went through all of this. Because I've learned a lot and I've built myself up a lot. And I got over my self-esteem issues because I used to tell myself I was fat. I was ugly. I've never been fat in my life. <laughs> like, I used to just always feel like, damn, I'm not as skinny as her. Or, oh my god, why, oh, she look cuter than me, she, you know, she wear weave all the time and stuff, and I rarely wear weave in my hair, y'all. Don't get me wrong, I do wear it, but, like, literally, I will wear it, put it in my hair once a year. Mostly in the summer, I'm about to get my braids, and that's usually what I do, because I don't like to do with my hair during the summer, it's just way too hot. So, I just put braids in, I get my braids put in, but that's really it. Uh, maybe from the holidays, I might, you know, get, if I want to be extra, you know, and get some long stuff so I could be, but most of the time i don't i don't do stuff like that so it's like oh well she does this so maybe i should do this i went through that and i have to realize you don't change yourself for no man for no boy excuse me because at the time he was a boy i don't know what he is now we don't we don't talk but you know it's like i knew that but actually having to put that in practice put it in gear with something different so you you see it's like i don't know y'all i don't know i don't know I just, I'm thankful that I went through it because if not, I don't know if I would appreciate the things that I, I have in my life now if I wouldn't have went through that roller coaster ride. So yeah, that is a long ass explanation for why I wrote this poem and I had stopped doing explanations for why I wrote the poem because it makes the video long, but I just feel like I just needed to talk about it because I know there's a lot of people that go through different kinds of, of abuse in their, in their relationships, emotionally, mentally, physically, but you know. I don't know if I would call my situation abuse, but it was very emotionally draining on me. It started to get to the point where I didn't even care what he did. It, it started to get that bad. So, I'm thankful I went through it, but I'm more thankful that I actually got away from it because I feel like if I would have stayed, if I would have took him back again, it would have just kept going on. I feel like I wasted a lot of my high school experiences, you know, dealing with that. And every time I think about it, I get upset about it because I did miss out on a lot. I didn't do a lot of stuff during the high school because I was with him uh I didn't go to prom because we broke up at the beginning of like junior year I just felt like well hell I don't have anybody to even go to prom with you know I'm not even I don't want to go to prom now <laughs> so I didn't go to either one of my proms I didn't go to junior prom or senior prom so I've never experienced prom I would never know what that feel like but I plan to throw me a prom party and I'm gonna be queen just so I can know what it feels like um my, my freshman year homecoming dance was cool because I decided we were together at the time, we went and then he was just like, oh yeah, we should dress alike. I was like, you know what that is, right. And I, my favorite color is pink, so I was all down for that sweat pink. He doesn't like it. So I'm like, okay, well, we can wear purple and we agree on purple. He, I get this purple dress and that's the dress I wanted, but that's like, we gonna match. He shows up and he's not even matching with me. He decided to match with his brother and he has on khaki pants and a goddamn sweater. A gray and black sweater and a white shirt. I'm like, seriously? Because his brother went to have at the time, my freshman year, his brother was maybe, he was either a junior or a senior, but he decided to match with his brother. And I'm like, okay, well, you should have told me you was gonna match with him. I could have got the dress that I wanted to get. Since we're not matching, I was highly upset about that. So, and it wasn't even any fun. We didn't dance. All we did was stand on the wall all night. So it was like, I didn't even have fun. My junior homecoming dance was a little better because I did. No, my senior homecoming, sorry. But I did go to my senior homecoming dance. I decided not to go to the prom. And me and my friends had the cutest picture. We had so much fun. I was looking good, though. Like, so I had the picture. I got the picture. Okay, I'm going to show you. That's 
me and my two best friends. We were really, really cute. I'm in the middle, of course, with the pink on. There's my two best friends that's also career godparents. We was cute. We was doing the damn thing. We was fine. I had fun that night. Um, but yeah, thank y'all for watching this video. I'm done before I keep rambling on. I that's just been an issue. These last few videos me rambling. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Staying around for this long and explanation. My little rant at the end. So don't forget to like, share somewhere, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.